This video is called Umami Takeaways Part 1. In it, we're going to be having a look at the Umami Drupal distribution and what it is. We're going to be installing it and we're going to be having a general overview of it. So the Umami Drupal distribution is basically a really nice showcase distribution that comes with Drupal Core now and that could be installed and there you could have nice content types and a nice team and setup from which you could basically learn stuff how they are done the best possible way so let's jump to our browser and here we have the Drupal Composer Drupal project opened and as I always do I will just copy this bit here and I will jump to the terminal so I'm going to just jump to my sites dev desktop folder and I'm going to paste it and then change the sander with umami That's perfect. So I'm going to jump to dev desktop because that's the local server that I'm going to be using for this example. We're going to hit the plus and import local Drupal site. So I'm just going to change and switch to the umami in the dev desktop and to the web folder. That's perfect and we're going to call it umami and we're going to pick the latest php version in order to be faster it's going to also create a database for us so let's go ahead and click ok that's perfect let's open it in the browser now language we're going to pick umami here that's the special bit from the installation so let's go ahead and save and continue There we go. So now we're just going to pick a email address. Admin, 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 and country. And check for updates. No. Save and continue. That's perfect. So we just installed Drupal with Umami and you see how nicely it looks. It's basically a website of a food magazine and we have a nice navigation here. We have the search area. We have it basically in two languages. We have it in English and in Spanish and it looks really nice so in some of the next videos we're going to be having a look at what content types are used here what special techniques are used here for example if this is views or if it's some kind of special listing of stuff here how the search is implemented and basically the different types of content and how they are glued together. It nicely comes also with content as you see here when you click on content you see there 
there are plenty of nodes here that are looking really nice and yeah basically in the next videos we're going to be exploring this distribution and we're going to get our takeaways so the things that we could learn from the configuration that is already being done here so that's it if you like this video please have a look at the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching